Hello, um, in today's video I'd like to demonstrate a product that was um, provided by Alga Developer. He's a developer, he has their own company and they provide some very cool tools for Ctrader and uh, they've been um, nice enough to allow us to actually host it on our website. So it's a free product and it's actually a trade simulator um, and when I go through showing you the demo um, it will really help you out and see what it does. But in a nutshell what it does if you had a manual strategy that you use for you know, manual trading it will allow you to test that strategy in minutes that would normally take months if you had to do it on a forward test. So it's definitely a very cool tool to use um, and it's something that Ctrader doesn't have inbuilt but you can download it from our website just come to clickalgo.com and you can actually just uh, access it from here. So I'll go ahead and give you the quick demo of the actual tool in, in operation. So when you open up Ctrader um, you'll see something like this. You need to actually go to the, over my left shoulder, you need to go to the automate window. So if I click automate this is where Ctrader does all their algorithmic trading and this is um, where you can do back testing. Now we're going to do a back test for one month of historical data and run this test. So you need to find the, the C bot. It's called Manual Strategy Tester. You need to open up the symbol that you want to trade. I'm going to do Euro USD. Okay, you might see a chart similar to this. What you need to do is remove all the indicators. So you can remove the indicators, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a template that um, I normally use, just a black template that actually removes the indicators anyway. Here you see the parameters for the um, tool, which I'll show you in a minute. But I'm going to quickly show you first um, the actual system in operation, just so you understand. You need to click on the back test tab at the top. Okay, we're into back testing. I also have to apply the template here, I forgot. So I'll go back into here. So there's the template here. Now you don't see anything because we've not run a back test yet. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually just quick press play. And you can see that it's come up with the chart now. Now, you didn't see what was happening. It was very fast. That did a one month back test, but you, you couldn't see what was going on. So what we need to do, we need to check the visual mode button. Now, if I click play now, that's going to run in slow motion. It comes up with the, um, the, the actual panel that was created by Alga Developer. I'll go through that in a minute. It's showing you um, in slow motion what, what was happening one month ago, and it's actually going through the dates. At the moment, it's on the 28th of the 10th, and you can see the time that it's actually trading at the top there. We can speed this up by clicking the speed, and you can see the faster we go, the faster it actually trades. So you can understand um, that you're actually simulating this trade. I can pause it here. And you can see before it did a great big um, bearish dive, you can actually see it happening in, in fast mode. So as, you, as I said previously, rather than actually running a, this system over one month of fresh data, you can back test over historical data of one month and do it really fast. So what I'm going to do is open up the tool that was created by our developer, and this is the manual strategy testing tool. So what we're going to do, we're going to start again, but drop down the speed to something slower. So I start it again. Actually, I need to stop it. So what I'm going to do, sorry, first of all, first thing you need to do is actually add your strategy to the charts. So at the moment, you don't have anything on the charts. So for example, if your strategy was simply um, one indicator, you just add that one indicator to the chart. Um, so you can visually see the trades happening that you'd normally do in your manual trading anyway. But um, every time you see a signal that you would normally go into a buy, you'd use the tool to enter a buy trade. And I'll show you that now. So I'm actually going to put a simple indicator onto the chart. I'm going to do it at the relative strength index. Okay. I'm going to set the uh, line to be something very bright that we can see. I'm going to do the levels to 35 and 65 just so that we can see something happening. The level lines, I'll explain that in a minute, you'll see it. I'm going to change it to um, something like white, something very bright and dotted. Okay. Now if I click OK, you can now see that the indicator is put to the bottom of the chart. Now what we're going to do when we run this simulation, Every time the green line or our, the RSI line goes above 65, we're going to say that that symbol is overbought. And in this case, if you have a look, it was overbought here. And then when it and then it reversed, and it went bearish and it dropped. And then when it was below the 35 line, I would say it's oversold and it was oversold. It's going up. So what we're going to do is every time it's overbought and it's above 65, we're going to sell. And every time it's below 35, we're going to buy. Very simple strategy, but just gives you some idea um, of what, how you can use this with your own actual strategy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press play on here with visual mode and, um, and then pause it. Okay, so this is the trade panel that you'll use um, to actually enter your trades. Now what we can do, I've paused it because it's over 65 and I would say this is overbought. It might go higher, I don't know, I've not run this yet, but I'm actually going to go in for a sell position, a volume of 1000. Um, 
I'm not going to do a stop loss, but you can set your stop loss and your risk, which is very, it's got some very cool features for actually adding some risk management for your trade. So you'd want to do something close to what you're using. I'm not going to do a take profit that you can specify in pips or price. The reason is I'm only going to buy or sell every time that green line goes above or below 65 or 35, above 35, sorry, below 35. So I'm not going to do those, but you can also add a stop loss trigger. So if I put trailing stop loss, but you need to set a stop loss for that. You can also do a trailing stop loss so that the trailing stop loss will actually run and you might have that in your strategy. Um, you've also got market range that prevents slippage. You can also put a label and comment. But for this example, I'm going to leave this blank. So I'm going to place a sell order. And it says, are you sure? Yes. Now, if you don't want it to come up with that pop up window, are you sure every time you go to the settings window here and you disable quick, you enable quick trade and that won't do it anymore. I'm going to come back to the theme later on and show you that towards the end. So you can change the color in the background of this window here uh, to suit you know, your eyes, really. So I'm going to place that. Oh, it's already placed a sell trade. So I've got a sell trade already placed. Now I continue this. And uh, there's the sell trade there. You can see at the top. Now what I'm going to do now that's running and we've got the trade there and I can actually now pause it again. So anytime you can pause it during the trading to analyze it, I'm now going to um, show the trade watch bottom window and go to positions. And there's our position that's just opened. So in this little strategy here, um, my head's hard hidden in this little strategy here, um, we're only ever going to have one trade open at any time. You can have more, but for what I'm showing you, we're going to open it, open up a buy. And when the buy closes, we open up a sell. And when the sell closes, we open up a buy. So in this case, the RSI is about 35. You can see it's done a very big uh, bullish uh, trend there. It could be overbought. It's just probability. It might not. It might go up further. I don't know. So I'm going to continue this. And what we're going to do now is we're going to close the position when the green line goes below 35. So if I continue. Now, if I want to speed this up, I just click here. And it's gone up to 1,000, 2,000. OK, it's tickling around the 65. And you can speed it up further, but I'm going to leave it at that. OK, 5000. It's dropping down. Right, I'm going to stop. Now it's just hit the 35 line. What I'm going to do now, um, I could leave it a little bit further. So I'm now going to say that um, it's oversold. It's just about to go below the 35 line and I want to close this position. So I highlight it here and I click close. So the collisions the positions closed and on the history, you can see we've gained four pound forty three P. Go back to positions. Now I want to open up a buy position. So I change it here to buy everything else the same place the order. We've now got a buy position placed. Um, you can see it's just there. Now I can continue the simulation. And it's dropped down further. So we could have actually done it when it dropped a bit further than 35. So I could have entered the trade when it was there. So, you know, I'm just doing a simulation. So in reality, um, you'll learn by this. And this is a good thing about doing the simulation. You can actually see it happening. You can then say, hold on a minute, you know, it just dropped 35 or it touched the line. I'm not going to do that next time. I'm going to wait for it to go to 39 or 40. So you can adjust your your levels that you want to use. So I'm actually going to open up another buy position, too. So I think, you know, that it's quite blue. I've got, you know, this chance it might go higher and I've, I've got two positions open now. So I continue to press the play button. And I can speed it up further if I want. So it's just running a lot faster. Each bar, if I pause this, each one of those bars or candles is one hour. So if you can consider that every time one of those candles forms, one hour has passed, you can see how much faster this is than if you were running it live trading. You can see it's just going up now. It just tickled the top. And it's just going up and it's going down. So the chances are if we would have closed out just up there, we might have been better, but who knows? Now, if it drops below 35 again, um, it's up to you, depending on what your strategy doing, you could just leave it running. So this is just to show you um, how it works, how you would use it. OK, it's just peaked above there. So I'm going to close. Um, ideally, you've got two buy positions, so you would normally close both of them or close the one that's in profit. Um, number two, number three, be number two, isn't it? Oh, no, it's number three. So that's just to give you an example anyway. Um, this was just a demo to, to show you how to do it. You can also do pending orders. So if you want to place pending orders, um, you can actually do that. You've got market order, limit order, stop limit, uh, stop order, stop limit. So this will, if your strategy involves placing um, pending orders, you have the full flexibility to do that here. And again, you can attach stop loss, take profit, trailing stop loss and stop loss, stop loss trigger method, trade opposite, double trade or double opposite. 
So, um, yeah, there you go. It's not, obviously we didn't build this tool, somebody else did. So um, I'm just giving you a quick demo. Just gonna go and show you if you wanted to change the settings, you can change the base theme to light. So if you prefer it light, you can change the actual color there to a blue like that. You can change the menu background color, the menu items color. So it's fully customizable um, to how you want it. Go back to dark. And also what I wanted to show you was, if I close this window now, is the settings here. So you can also adjust the settings here for the actual, um, where everything goes for the, for the indicator. Now, if you're not familiar, if you want to find out more about the indicator, you can actually go to um, our website. Um, also, um, we're offering front line, uh, first line support. So if you are having any problems installing the indicator or anything, just give us a shout on our uh, Telegram group. Um, but because the developer hasn't got time to give you full support, um, you know, if you do need help, just post on the Telegram chat group or on our uh, forum and we would do our best to help you. Okay, that's it. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much.